Hello everybody, about two years ago Clap was released a clever audio plugin and I did several videos about what's happening and I noticed my last video is over one year old since I reported all the news and what's happening so it's really time to do an update. Since then lots of stuff happened and I already read on the forum it's dead and whatever but actually it's doing great and a lot of hosts and new plugin support now clap and what you should not forget it's just about two years that this new technology was released and two years is nothing for bigger companies to do their planning so we're speaking about two to five years even if a company decided on the first day of release yes we want to support that it takes them a minimum of two years to put that in their roadmap and to bring that into the reality and production. And that's what's happening now. We see now the first bigger names also showing up with Clap support. And that's the first big topic. FL Studio, one of the biggest stores on the market, is now supporting the Open Clap standard and is currently in beta. So, beta 2 of the 2024.1 release already supports it. And they're currently in beta 6. And I guess they will be in the near future release the final version. So, FL Studio. Bitwig and Repo will then the big names of the hosts support already clap and I'm pretty sure that more will show up there but there's also some funny other things so uh, energy XT which I used back in the day I thought it was already dead but it turns out they released the 64-bit version finally and it comes with clap support out of the blue so this is more of an anecdotal announcement here, but nevertheless, if you somehow use that, uh, it's maybe helpful to you to know they are doing clap as well. Something more serious is a completely open source software set rhythm, which I did not check out, but it looks pretty interesting. It seems to be able to do all the basic stuff. So all the mixer, MIDI part, the stuff you expect from a door is there and it's open source and it's available also for Linux. So all three major platforms are supported and I guess definitely worth to have a look. So moving on to plugins and as I said the big names are coming now also with support and FabFilter is seriously one of the big names. They have big plugins in the market, like all their filters they have, and all their plugins do now support clap format. So if you're a FabFilter user, definitely get the clap version and check it out. Next thing I already mentioned in a previous video, so this DSP56300 emulator. So this chip was used in lots of synthesizers back in the day, and they already had support with this Osiris for the virus A and B and C models. They also supported then some Waldorf models and what was currently only available to some backer users is a Access CI VR virus. And since now Access stopped selling this product, they didn't see any issue now with releasing it. So you can now get the full blown virus TI also version two as a software plugin and it still sounds great and definitely checked it out. And if you go here to the downloads of S Tyrus, you see it also supports now clap version and as well on Linux. So you also can use this on the three platforms. Lots of people complain that MIDI capture is not available in Bitwig. I myself couldn't care less, but <laughs> so lots of people seem to care about it. So if you really need this, here's a little free tool. No, it's not free, sorry. It's $14, but I guess that's okay, this price. And this supports also clap and then you have MIDI capture. A good old tool is FluidSynth, a sample player which uh, supports SF2 and uh, it supports also clap now. So not directly because it runs in a standalone, but there are several wrappers for it available, a VST wrapper as well. And there is now also a clap wrapper. So you could also integrate that into your workflow. Then there is TX16WX, a software with the best name ever. <laughs> so easy to pronounce. And if you're a regular follower of my channel, I already mentioned it now several times in my Convert with Moss software because I support that as well. So you can convert from the different multi-sample formats, also Native Instruments Contact. You can now also convert to this totally free software. And this supports also clap now. There's also a professional version which needs to be paid, but the difference are pretty minor in my opinion. So check it out. Definitely absolutely worth having a look. Really cool and helpful sampler. 
Then there is you here, who is one of the first supporters of Clap, and they somehow cannot finish their stuff. So all of the plugin versions are now supported with Clap, but not in the final versions. They have a lot of beaters there, and they just need to get their stuff together and finally release the final versions. But I'm also running the beta versions now for years, and they work totally great, and I simply don't know why they do not release them as a final version. But a Spazilla, Diva, Hive, Filterscape, Satin, now Cibrella 3, they all do clap now. And yeah, they sound great. Get them. I love them. Another MIDI tool, Show MIDI, which can be run as a standalone or in different plugin formats, supports now also clap. And yeah, you can show all the MIDI data coming into your door and quite helpful tool to have. Solo stuff is something I haven't heard about before, but it looks pretty nice and it's a kind of modular emulator as well. And in the version 2.2, they support now also the clap version. And yeah, even polyphonic automation is available, which not everybody implements from the start. So definitely, so definitely worth a look. As far as I understood it, the download is free and there are some additional things you can buy, but I think the base version is free. And also some extensions here seem to be free and only if you get the full package, I guess you need to pay something. So what did actually change in Clap itself? So last time I did the video, we were back at 1.1.6 and the current version is now 1.2, so lots of stuff happened since then. Mainly if you look at 1.1.7 in the area of surround sound and ambisonics, also port configuration, so more the traditional door or now also in the mixing domain, there was a lot of work put in there and there were different refinements of these things happening. And in the final version 1.2, which is already supported in most of the hosts, we see there are now stable extensions and finalized. So you get now ambisonic support, audio ports, activation and surround sound. But two things which are more interesting, I think, for the users is preset loading and discovery and remote control. So what is that about? You can already use that feature in Bitwig and if I open the Bitwig browser, you can see if you go to the Clap devices and I have here the Search and the UI plugins and for example, let's have a look here at Ace and you see you get all the presets. So we have all the presets of UI here, 13,000 presets nicely in the Bitwig browser and categorized correctly. So you see we have here category keyboards. Let's click something else, category base. So this is actually the thing we have been wishing for for ages to have all your plugin presets in your DAW to be filtered so you can quickly find the best bass sound and not have to go into each and every plugin and use the specific preset management of that plugin you have it now everything in your door and that's absolutely great also the search team seems to support this so i also have here 3000 presets of search and also with the same feature set so let's load an instance of search xt and there i can show you the second new feature normally when you open a vst let's say here i loaded here on up odyssey there are no remote control pages so you have first configure all your remote control pages from this big list of parameters that the plugin provides and this is now fixed in clap 1.2 so if you have a plugin which supports clap 1.2 and this extension you get now automatically your pages filled by the developer and you see if you go here into the selection that you have now this new section plugin pages which can be pre-configured by the plugin developer and this saves you quite some work to get you going if you get a new plugin. So lots of new stuff and there's definitely more to come and in the pipeline for Clap and I'm sure there will be more hosts and also more well-known plugin manufacturers supporting Clap in the future. All the links I showed of all the plugins and hosts in this video are down in the comments, so check them out. And I'd like to hear from you. What do you think about Clap? Are you using it already? Do you like it? And until next time, make some funky music.